In the last video, we looked at confidence intervals and we were looking at precision. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. We're going to talk about accuracy and precision. And so these two terms are often introduced in the context of a dartboard or a target here. And so we have accuracy and precision. Now accuracy sometimes is also called being unbiased. So something that was inaccurate would then be biased. So accuracy really refers to how close are you to the center of this target? How close are you to the truth? And precision refers to how closely you can group your arrows when you shoot them, um, how close together they are. So if you'll remember when we were talking about confidence intervals, we were talking about that plus or minus 3 versus plus or minus 10. Plus or minus 3 is much closer and so therefore has more precision than the plus or minus 10. So let's uh, shoot a couple of arrows at this thing. All right, ready? You like those arrow noises? Those come for free. Okay, so these arrows all are clustered here around the center near the truth. And so we could call this accurate. We could also call it precise because look at how closely together they are grouped. So this particular shooter is accurate and precise. Let's try again. All right, we'll shoot four more arrows. And you could see now these are still tightly clustered together. So it has good precision. However, this one is far away from the truth, so it's inaccurate. So we have, we have something that is precise, but it is, but it is inaccurate and it is not accurate. All right, let's try again. Okay, so let's shoot a couple more arrows at this thing. Okay, so this one you can see is not at all close to the center, so it's not close to the truth. So we'll call this one inaccurate. And also, if you look how it's clustered, I mean, this thing is, this guy is all over the place. He shot the target twice, but then he shot the stand for the target, and he also hit the tree once. So. He is not very clustered together, so this is not precise either. So this one was inaccurate and imprecise. All right, let's do the last one. Okay, let's fire these off. So now let's look at this. So these are kind of close to the truth, and if you were to average these three, they would actually average to being in the center as well. So we could call this accurate or unbiased but if we look at how it's clustered man this is also all over the place and so it's it's not really clustered together uh, so it would be imprecise because they are so spread apart so let's quickly review these again this first one here uh, if you average all of them out they kind of end up in the center and so this one is in the center too so we're going to call that one accurate but since everything was kind of uh, far apart grouped far apart we're going to say it's imprecise in this next one everything was kind of grouped around uh, one area there and so we would say that that one is precise but they were far away from the bullseye so we would call that inaccurate or biased this next one everything is far away from the bullseye again so we'll call that inaccurate and because they are so poorly clustered together, we're going to say that it is imprecise. And this final one here, everything hit the mark, everything hit the center, so it's accurate. Everything is well, good, well clustered together, so we're going to say it's precise. So accurate and precise. So what does this have to do with anything with uh, biostatistics? Well, let's now look at some distributions and apply this say, these same terms to them. So here we got some axes, and let's put down the bullseye, and the bullseye will be what we're looking for, the truth, which is the population mean. So this mu is what we're looking for, that's the truth. So let's first look at something that is accurate, but imprecise. So this sample here has a mean, which is pretty darn close to mu, so we would say that it's accurate. However, it is so widely dispersed here, right? And so we say that it is imprecise because it's not uh, clustered together well. So it's close to the truth, accurate, imprecise because it's so widely dispersed. Now let's look at this one, inaccurate and precise. So this one has a mean that's way over here, it's far away. However, its dispersion is very small. So you can see that it's very precise around this mean, but this mean is far from the truth, so we say that it is inaccurate 
or biased. Let's take a look at this one now, inaccurate and imprecise. And you, as you may have guessed at this point, the mean, the, the sta uh, standard mean is far away from mu over here, and so we say that it is uh, inaccurate, and we also see that it's a widely dispersed here as well, so that's why we would say that it's imprecise. And the final one that we're going to look at is the accurate and precise one, and as you guess, this one is going to have a population mean that is pretty darn close, I mean a standard mean which is pretty darn close to the population mean, and it's going to be very narrow of a distribution, it's going to have very small standard deviation, uh, and so we would say that it is both precise and both accurate. So for an accurate distribution, the sample mean will be close to the population mean. And for a precise one, the sample's standard deviation is small. And so th that's it. That's accuracy and precision. And we looked at it using the traditional method of targets and arrows as well as uh, these distributions. So if you want to test yourself, go ahead. I've, I've drawn three, uh, four distributions here, each one in a different color, each one labeled with different letters. letters and label each one as either precise or imprecise, and as accurate or inaccurate. And uh, good luck. All right, see you in the next video.